in any war or battle to take the capital is very necessary the reason is once you capture the capital then it means when the capital has fallen it means that the country has also fallen that is why russia is heading towards kiev because uh, kiev is the capital uh, of uh, uh, ukraine and uh, they have their main government offices there the uh, head of the ukraine uh, government has been taken into a bunker a safe bunker so that nothing can happen to him but then from there also he is continuously talking to the people of ukraine and giving them support and motivation and also to the ukrainian army now you see uh, current the current situation is that russia is moving in towards uh, kiev and it is capturing many important ukraine uh, ukrainian cities this is what russia is claiming kremlin uh, ukraine uh, is claiming that the russian troops are being given a very tough fight by the ukrainian army and all the claims that russia is giving that uh, so many cities we have captured are all false claims uh, these things are going to go on both the countries who are at war are going to continuously blame each other and claim that each other's claims uh, each other's uh, statements are false this happens in war because uh, this definitely proves to be a strategy of giving motivation to our own troops and demoralizing the enemy's troops now another thing is that uh, ukraine has offered to russia that we are ready to talk this is a good sign here uh, we can hope that these two countries who are at war can sit together and um, talk over this issue so it is a good sign that ukraine has offered that we are ready to talk now russia has also said that okay if you are ready to talk we are also willing and uh, putin has uh, already uh, sent i guess a delegation of people to ukraine to uh, uh, sit across and talk i don't know how fruitful these talks are going to be because russia is very adamant that ukraine should not join the nato and these talks are going to go on which uh, lines this we will have to wait and watch now regarding the entire scenario people have started evacuating from ukraine going to the neighboring countries moving out from there and this will go on till the time the war is on until the time russia keeps invading there is a point to note here if you have seen that russia has not yet launched a full fledged attack russia is doing a very very calculated attack on ukraine had it been a full fledged attack then we would have seen something the scenario would have been something different this is a very calculated attack and pockets uh, russia is attacking pockets and now it has finally uh, reached and quite, it's quite close to uh, kiev there was a un uh, resolution yesterday at the unsc where all the countries uh, have voted russia vetoed the resolution and india china and uae they abstained from this uh, voting india is playing the whole game very diplomatically and uh, as the india's policy goes of non aligned we are neither going to take sides of any country yes we will vote for peace that both the leaders of both the countries should come together and talk because war is not good for anything economy is going to go down drastically we have seen the sensex crash uh, drastically and we have seen that uh, prices will be rising in the coming days as this uh, war goes on but then i think that uh, probably in 2 to 3 days there will be uh, some kind of results that would come out uh, some kind of talks that will take place and let us hope that this war ends uh, quite soon the united nations is saying that the russian troops should move back to their barracks well united nations has got no role it is only lip service it has done nothing till day and it has taken no concrete steps to solve this ukraine and the russian uh, issue and nobody is paying heed to what the united uh, nations is saying same uh, with the case uh, 
like the NATO, UN is not playing any game. The entire United Nations uh, um, uh, lobby is being is doing only kind of lip service that this should stop and the war should very soon stop. किसी भी देश की राजधानी को कैप्चर करने के बाद ही युद्ध जीता जाता है क्योंकि जब राजधानी युद्ध में गिर जाती है इसका मतलब कि पूरे देश के ऊपर कब्जा कर लिया और इसीलिए रशियन सेना ये कीव की तरफ आ रही है काफी करीब पहुंच गई है कीव के दूसरा पॉइंट ऐसा है कि यूक्रेन ने ऑफर किया है कि हम टॉक्स करना चाहते हैं यह अच्छी खबर है रशिया ने भी थोड़े से पॉजिटिव साइंस दिखाए हैं देखते हैं कि ये कैसे मसला हल होता है यूएन में रेजोल्यूशन कल हुआ था यूएनएससी में और उसमें रशिया ने वीटो कर दिया इस रेजोल्यूशन को ये सबको पता था कि ये वीटो होगा ही होगा और भारत ने एब्सटेन किया है भारत बहुत डिप्लोमेटिकली हर चीज को देख रहा है और बहुत डिप्लोमेटिकली हर चाल चल रहा है और बहुत अच्छी बात है कि भारत इस प्रकार का स्टैंड ले रहा है क्योंकि नॉन अलाइन ये हमारी पॉलिसी रही है यूएन में यूएन ने कहा कि रशियन ट्रूप्स को क्या बैरिक्स में रहे यूएन को सिर्फ लिप सर्विस करना आता है यूएन ने क्या क्या किया इस मसले को सुलझाने के लिए कुछ भी नहीं किया अब जब युद्ध हो रहा है रशिया और यूक्रेन के बीच तब जाकर ये लोग थोड़ा बहुत कुछ बोल रहे हैं अपना सिर ऊंचा करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं लेकिन इससे कोई फायदा नहीं होने वाला है यूक्रेन और रशिया का जो मसला है ये मसला बातचीत से सुलझाया जाएगा मगर बातचीत किस बेसिस पे होगी ये देखना बहुत जरूरी है क्योंकि रशिया तो मानने वाला मानने वालों में से नहीं है कि यूक्रेन ने अगर नेटो ज्वाइन किया तो रशिया फुल फ्लेजेड अटैक करेगा लेकिन ये जो फिलहाल जो भी चल रहा है सिनारियो है वो फुल फ्लेजेड अटैक नहीं है रशिया का रशिया छोटे छोटे पॉकेट्स पर अटैक कर रहा है और आखिर उसका टारगेट कीव है अगर फुल फ्लेजेड अटैक होता तो सिनारियो कुछ अलग होता और इसीलिए काफी कैलकुलेटेड अटैक्स रशिया कर रहा है और भारत के जो लोग हैं वहां पर उनको बहुत जल्द हम लोग इवैक्यूएट करेंगे ऐसी गारंटी भारत सरकार की तरफ से दी गई है उनको कहा गया है कि आप करीबी देशों तक चल के आइए और वहां से फिर इनको एयरलिफ्ट किया जाएगा